Everybody knows that Mortal Kombat, uh, like that there was um, a remake, uh, another movie. I guess this is the third movie in the franchise or in the series or whatever. It's not connected. It's a standalone film. Everybody knows that there's a Mortal Kombat movie coming. Well, this morning, woof, boy, oh boy, did we get a trailer. My goodness, did we ever get a trailer. Now, let me say... I'm not the biggest Mortal Kombat fan on the planet. I played the game. On the show yesterday, I talked about how um, I, I when I played the game as a child, I played the Nintendo version, which was an edited version. Uh, if you played Mortal Kombat on Sega, you got the unedited version with all the blood and guts and gore and fatalities and uh, bones being ripped out of people's bodies. You didn't get that on Nintendo. So when I played it on Nintendo... Uh, like, the blood was green, first and foremost, uh, which was so confusing to me because, like, my friends were saying, no, 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 the blood is red. And I'm like, clearly the blood is green, and I'm not colorblind. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about, you guys. Um, so I didn't understand or realize at the time there wasn't an edited version of the game. So I, like, and I'm not the biggest gamer on the planet anyway, so Mortal Kombat hasn't always been, like, the biggest thing for me. The two movies that they made before in the 90s were complete trash. They have a lot of love behind them, but let's be honest, they're, they're complete trash. But today, you guys, wow. Wow. Um, I was totally blown away by this trailer. It looks fun. It looks brutal. Uh, it, there's, I mean, like as this, uh, the, the title of this article here in Variety points out, there's plenty of blood, guts, and fatalities. It looks intense. It, like this just looks like everything that you want a Mortal Kombat movie to look and feel like. Um, I'm like I I, I I couldn't stop saying to uh to well Natalie you're in the 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 texting group the cosplay group um, yeah. the Con Air group uh, I kept texting Con Air and I was like you like I kept using so much profanity holy blank holy blank holy blank like this is the coolest <laughs> effing thing ever um like I was totally blown away I did not expect much from this trailer but it totally won me over uh Natalie what was your knee jerk reaction to this and uh, what kind of like do you think the movie's going to live up to uh, the holy blank moments of the trailer. Yeah, well, I mean, that, exactly. First of all, my reaction was the same as yours when I saw it. But also there was that tinge of fear where I'm like, I'm really afraid to put any stock in any Warner Brother movies in general. Like there's already always yeah. that level of like, mm. eh, this is going to suck. But definitely video game movies. Video game movies... I mean, I think everyone knows They're are cursed. just the They're worst. Cursed. I can't think of a single one that's been executed. I will. Uh, I will challenge that. Um, is is not great of a movie as Sonic the Hedgehog was. Sonic wasn't a complete letdown. It was decent. It wasn't great. It was okay. Pokemon, uh, the detective movie, also it wasn't fantastic. It was okay. And then I also contend Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. Um, the the reboot with Alicia Vikander that was actually kind of a fun, decent movie. I enjoyed that. Those are the three. You know that that makes me feel better because it feels like maybe uh, I don't know maybe some of these Hollywood execs have actually read the reviews of their previous attempts <laughs> at movies, and uh, I think that they're, they're giving us a little bit more substance. That's kind of what I felt surprisingly when I watched this trailer. Um, I was surprised at how much story that they put in it and they kind of treated it with a level of respect that you know i'm sure longtime fans of the game um appreciate but also they gave you the good stuff they gave you the yeah. goods the violence the uh in-game names when uh sub-zero says i am sub-zero and then he uh does the get over here i think that's oh crazy. man and like uh, again, like I say, I'm not the biggest Mortal Kombat fan in, you know, on the planet, but uh, when everybody takes sides between sub between Sub Zero and Scorpion, I was always a Scorpion fan. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I will give the trailer. Wait, is it Scorpion that says "Get mm -hmm. over here"? I'm with, I'm with you. I played I played the games. Um, of course, I always played either Johnny Cage or Sonya. <laughs> that was the only characters that I would ever play. And I think what's great about the Mortal Kombat games is they're great entry-level games. Like, you don't have to be invested 
in the in the story you have to maybe remember for fatalities right yep. and also even if you're not good at that you just have to press c over and over and over again and like punch somebody until they die and your opponent is like really how lazy <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, that that moment in the trailer when uh, Sub Zero and Scorpion are like battling, and Scorpion, uh, or sorry, Sub Zero stabs Scorpion, and the blood like shoots out of his back. Sub Zero freezes his blood in midair, grabs it like a knife, and then stabs Scorpion with his own blood. Like, yeah. What? That that might have been like the coolest thing I've seen this year. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was pretty freaking that was awesome. Insane. Whoever thought of that yeah. is a genius. I know. I love. It. Like, <laughs> it's like what? I mean, right? Because okay, so ice powers are not that new in media. No. Obviously, like you know, the X Men movies. You know, there's one. Even later on uh, in the show, Heroes, they you know come up with what I feel like. Ice Frozen, powers is the one of the two powers. Yeah. Frozen, that's right. <laughs> oh man, I hope someone makes a mashup of Frozen, <laughs> Frozen footage and puts it to the trailer. How amazing would Anya, that be? Uh, Anna and Elsa have like a knockdown drag out fight yeah. where, uh, where Anya, Anna is like wielding some kind of like scorpion like chain mail kind of thing. Uh, man, like can you imagine that? I for that. Yeah, someone drop Disney a hint or like any ambitious fan video editor out there that wants to put that I just together. Want to see that I think scene I'd... recreated with Anna and Elsa. Like, don't do anything exactly. else. Just do that. Just do that. Oh, man. <laughs> but, you know, that's one amazing. of the big questions that's coming, that's been uh, raised online, and also, you know, Natalie, within our own uh, texting cosplay group, um, where is Johnny Cage? Johnny Cage is one Good of the question. main characters of uh, Mortal Kombat, and everybody's been asking, like, hang on a second, you've got Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Sonya, Raiden, uh, the dude with the forearms, I can't think of his name. Liu Kang, Jax, yeah. They're yeah. all there, but with one major exception, Johnny Cage. Now, uh, the main character of this movie, it seems that uh, his name is Cole Young, um, so it's being kind of uh, 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 theorized that Cole Young is going to end up being Johnny Cage, which, if that's true, I smell Star Trek uh, Into Darkness so hard right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just that, like... I mean, <sighs> like it uh, in the sense that I'm, I would be okay with that uh, because, you know, I, I'm pretty sure, like, all the previous media associated with Mortal Kombat, Johnny Cage is like the star. It's, you know, that's the character that you always fought other people to be. Um, so when you had to be that same character, it was always weird. <laughs> Johnny Cage versus Johnny Cage. So um, I, I could kind of see them trying to take like a different method, but also story structure isn't leading up to this giant reveal that Cole is Johnny Cage because oh come on that's a little it's a little like Captain Marvel's reveal that she's actually not Kree like come on well I mean yeah that's the I think that's the thing that we all kind of like smell this red herring coming unless like if if Cole because like as you talk about part of the gameplay is that you have to play certain characters and you have to win certain fights in order to unlock Johnny Cage right. So mm -hmm. there may be a story element that, you know, by fighting this person and fighting that person, maybe Cole Young will unlock, I mean, like maybe Johnny Cage is literally caged. Maybe he's like held up prisoner somewhere <laughs> and he has like Whoa. Cole Young is just, cause I mean that kind of introducing a brand new character into this lore, into this mythos, into this game, right? That kind of uh, uh, insinuates to me at least a little bit the player aspect because you have the person yeah. behind the controller controlling the characters who could be Cole Young. Not that he's going to be controlling other people, but if he himself has to fight all these other characters in order to unlock Johnny Cage, that could be a really interesting story element there. Yeah, I – that. That is a great theory. That's awesome. Um, super exciting. 
Anyway, yeah. guys, I'm excited to really go with <laughs> you it. You know, big question for you is, well, what do you think of the Mortal Kombat trailer? Uh, it came out this morning. It blew everyone away. It didn't blow everyone away. I've seen a couple of negative things online. You know, the the lack of Johnny Cage kind of being the most prominent out there. But you know, I loved it. This it totally got me ramped up. I was not hyped for this movie at all in any way, shape, or form. I thought, yeah. Maybe I'll go see it or like maybe I'll watch it on HBO Max. Now I am specifically going to make a trip to New Jersey, providing if the theaters in New York aren't open right now. I'm going to drive to New Jersey or like get a whatever. I'm going to hire an Uber. We're going to go to Jersey. We're going to see this thing properly in theaters. <laughs> I'm stoked for it. I'm so excited. What do you think of it? Jump on down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what the mighty Thor would want you to do. For Asgard!